Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Yakuza Like a Dragon. I'm a serious GG. This game's getting off to a bit of a slow start. I mean, really dramatic pre-story flashback. But uh, since then, we've been kind of just going around, having random conversations, being a bit of a soft-touch Yakuza. But, regardless, the plot might be about to kick off, because we're about to meet a new character in the form of the Young Master. So let's... Uh, Save the game, just in case anything happens where I find out later, Oh my god, if I'd just done this, I could have successfully completed Plunger Quest, which would have been a huge difference in the endgame. The optimum ending has been locked forever because you didn't get the plunger. That could be, folks, that could be. So we should be aware. Oh, well, I can't walk on that street. That's the end of the world. Let's just knock over the girl in the backpack and uh, meet the young master. The young master appears to be on the end of the world. Oh, he's in a taxi. Get in. Get in the driver's seat. Well, I guess this is Japan, so it would be the other side. We need to get the Young Master's... To the Young Master's Apartment Complex. So we can select our destination. The young Master's Apartment Complex. Doesn't appear to be any place else to select. So let's continue. I'm suddenly paranoid about whether I'm recording here, so let me check that while they're loading. I am recording. I'm thinking this is a nicer apartment complex than the one we're hey, likely to live in. Hey, miss! I'm not Where's going anywhere. I, I mean, have you seen Masato Arakawa? I'm very sorry, but I haven't seen him today, sir. Oh, damn it. It's not that big a... I mean, just find him. Here he is. It's cool. Huh? He's a handsome devil. Look at him. Sorry I'm late, young master. Something came up while I was doing kind of a demonic uh, facial hair combo. Announce? Masato Arakawa. In fairness, yeah, they're in a public place and he's screaming about doing collections, so not really that slick. Here, take this iPad. <laughs> we'll go stream some movies later. Did you forget what day it is? It's Christmas Day, sir. Uh, of course not. It's Yumino san's birthday. I thought it was New Year's Eve. I guess it could you didn't be come both. Without a gift, did you? No, I brought something. It's just I didn't have much, so it's not the greatest. <laughs> Whatever. Pretty as long as you didn't tell Dad about this, you did it. Did you? Of course not. If he asks where we went, just tell him we went shopping. Yes, sir. Or he plungers. He still treats me like a child. Don't you forget, child, Tommy. You mean a lot to him. Don't talk like you know me. Don't treat me like you know me. Don't treat me like a woman. Don't treat me like a man. Don't treat me like you know me. Treat me like just who I am. Yeah. So, uh, it appears that the young master is a bit of a jerk. I mean, the very first thing we did was yell like an idiot about Yakuza business, and he kind of berated us in a, you know, condescending but chill way. But... The dialogue since then has just gone on to show he don't treat us that good. Oh, those stairs don't seem like they would be a lot of fun to navigate with that wheelchair. Presumably there's a service elevator somewhere. Otherwise they're not compliant with American law. We're going to have to go bust them. <coughs> you okay, young master? I'm fine. Don't call me young We're master. What the hell? Wait. Don't go in yet. Duck in here for a sec. Uh, the gay bar, sir? Um, okay. Oh, it's Bar My Soul, B1. B1. Uh, or it's an alley. He just gestures for his uh, briefcase. Handsome fellow, well-dressed, kind of douchey, though. Oh, he's got a... Uh, 
Uh, EpiPen? Overreact much? The latest and greatest ephedrine injector. I had it imported. It's completely illegal. It's a specialized performance enhancer. It's gonna make it my dick super the hard. Sympathetic nervous system, so even someone with my condition will be able to stand and walk just like anybody else. So it's nano machines. The effect will be immediate, but it won't last more than a few hours. We call it plot convenience serum. How did you get something like that? Today is my woman's birthday. I can't embarrass her by going in there like this. Like I do every other day? crazy, though. Don't you think it's kind of risky? Don't you think my gestures are crazy? It just hasn't been approved for use in Japan. Or anywhere else. Injected here. Into your nipple, sir? None of this sounds good to me, young master. We don't really know what else it might do to you. You're a fucking wuss. I mean, you're the one who's telling somebody else to inject you. I have to inject myself all the time with stupid white blood cell stuff. It's not fun, but... Oh, I didn't bother to actually inject the drug. I just poked myself with a needle. Young master? Are you messing with him now, young master? Young master? Young master? Master? Master! So his magic, I can walk and dance like a real boy drug, is, uh... We didn't spend a lot of time with him in the wheelchair before we immediately moved to this phase. So, it's a bit weird. Let's go. So I guess those muscles didn't atrophy? They just needed endorphins? I don't... This doesn't seem like the most realistic bit of storytelling in the history of... ...all things. Meanwhile, that wheelchair is worth some money and is going to be stolen. I would think. It's a city. Maybe Yokohama is super safe. Welcome! Oh boy, you got some... women in some costumes here. It is that kind of place. Oh, I guess he was faking before with the wheelchair? Because apparently they all recognize him and are stunned he's walking. But um, I think I know what kind of place this is. And I might have an idea. He's got one of those Robert Gates girlfriends. Meet her through a website. Good evening, Masato-san. Oh my goodness, are you all better? I can't believe it. I literally can't. He's such, so full of joy and happiness. Hey, where's Yumino-san? Um, we'll call her as soon as we can. As soon as you can? You better mean now. Well, you see, she just sat down with another customer. She's been very busy today because it's her birthday. And she really shouldn't be working at all, but... Hey! I just need a minute with him to explain our situation. Don't worry. I'll be nice. I'm not gonna beat the shit out of him after I let, like, people ducking out on loans get off. Well, not that he didn't beat it. He's beaten up everybody he's encountered. It's just always then let them keep their money or given it to little kids instead of his own uh, mafia. Is something wrong, sir? Hey. Hey. Yeah, where's Yumino-san? Hi. Yumino-san is at the table over... Er, she must have left. I believe she got requested by another guest. We're rather busy today, Kasuga-san. Hmm? Home? Is Masato-san really healed? Uh, it's complicated. Um, I'm supposed to be grilling you. <laughs> wow, does that mean you'll be released from indentured servitude? No. Dumbass. I'm not some kind of slave. This is an important job, and no. But isn't Masato-san a civilian? So oh, why would you need a Yakuza like you following him around? <sighs> no one asked you. It really is weird. This guy's just like, let me, let me uh, ask a lot of probing questions about your criminal lifestyle. No one asked you. Now where's you, Masato-san? No, I'm sorry, but you'd probably find her faster if you look for her yourself. I mean, I know that doesn't make any sense, and you should be punch me in the face just for saying it. But from a gameplay perspective, we're gonna make you wander around. No. Is that how you treat your best customers? You know how many bottles we bought last week on Christmas? 
Technically, Masato-san ordered them, not you, right? Punch this guy. <laughs> oh, give me a break. Fine, I'll go look myself. And it's not like he's doing this for himself. He's doing it for Masato-san. Unless Masato-san is the girl. I'm getting confused about character names here. Who are you? Not that it matters. Let's drink. Yeah. Uh, maybe next time. Yeah, so he said a hostess bar. Big part of all the previous Yakuza games. We even had hosto bars where you could, you know, men who would uh, be hosts for paying female guests. They were the hostos with the mosto. Um, this time it's a more traditional hostess bar. Men paying for the company of pretty young ladies to act interested in what they have to say and drink with them. Um, not clear if this is a bar that takes it one step further or not because Japan certainly has some of both, as I understand it. Um, didn't spend time at host... Like, I spent a little bit of time in Japan as a tourist. Did not frequent a hosto bar or hostess bar. Is Yumeno-san around? No, this is Yumeko-san. What, am I not good enough? That's... what? Oh, here we go. Didn't actually mean to advance the story necessarily, but... Sorry it's so busy today. Nothing to be sorry about. If you didn't have customers on your birthday, I'd have to assume everyone else here was blind. Oh, Lubu, you treat me so well. Who are you? My name's Dong Zhuo. How should I put this? I'm the young lady's escort for tonight. <laughs> Ichan, what are you doing? I'm escorting you. I believe this club is first come, first serve. I haven't come yet. No need to make things complicated. Let's just say we came first and leave it at that. You understand. He doesn't look like a soft touch, this guy. I do this for Ire and for this? the hostess. I'd ask you the same. You're the one being unreasonable. What? I, I have reasons, so shut up. This is ludicrous. Ludo what? Use some normal ass words. Like ass. You said you'd be civil. You're causing a scene, you moron. Sorry. Please excuse my companion here. He's usually better behaved. He's not used to seeing me all popped up on that drugs. Hard to believe. This place doesn't really do the first come, first serve thing. It does when I first see, come. In this industry. They can't treat every customer equally. They have to treat you like crap. The guys who spend big get better service. It's supply and demand, that's all. <laughs> that's so. Is Besides, that so? That's my girl. I see. She's my hostess I'm going to fall in love with. Or get married to. Since I've disturbed you, would you let me buy you a drink? Pick anything you'd like. And don't worry about the price. No, thank you. I don't need a drink. I need to have sex with your woman. <laughs> Not the drinking type. Well, then you'll be needing this to try your luck with another one. Big spender. This? I think you just insulted this guy, in fact. I have I a boss fight on our that. hands now. Please, I insist. Why insult me by refusing? Because I don't no, like you. thank you. My position requires me to exercise some level of discretion when accepting. Oh, he must be an auditor. Where He's do you get auditor. off acting so high and mighty? He's a cop, you dumbass. You've got guts. I'll give you that. I don't know quite what to make of the young master, but I kind of like him. He's like not very nice to our character, but he's clearly a lot smarter than we are. And, and just a little subtle like, shut the fuck up, look. I like it. I actually like the young master. What's your name? Other than sticking himself with some crazy drug and the fact that he's in love with a hostess. Who's your daddy? I suppose you won't stop bothering me until I show you. Here's the magnum-sized condom I brought to use with your girlfriend. Ah, the senior commissioner of the Tokyo Police Department. Not the guy to be trying to bribe at the hostess bar, probably. 
Unfortunately, I also have to be discreet about who receives my business card. Wow. Are you even allowed out this late? At a place like this? It does seem a bit odd. No law against it. Now, why don't you take the lovely lady back to your seat already? Oh, he's letting her have the girl. Okay. Letting him have the girl. Because that, that seemed like it was getting ugly. But, um... Cheers. Maybe we haven't heard the last from that guy. Happy you know, if we have heard the last from that guy, they made way too big a deal about who he is. <laughs> so I'm assuming we have not heard the last of this guy. Well, I didn't buy them. But... Thanking the wrong person. He's right. You two should thank the man who bought them. We're very grateful, Masato-san. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. I mean, it is the most expensive bottle in the house. I'm just gonna casually Only mention that. Only they forget themselves a bit. How often do they get drinks like that? After all, uh, every other night, really. Yeah, master, I'm sorry about all that earlier. That guy thinks he's too good to accept my generosity. Not like he can afford to as a cop. Does he come here often? No, this he, was his first time. He won't forget your generosity. So, Yumino-san, what did he get you for your birthday? Oh, Magnum condom. Oh, stop. Just the fact that he's here is enough for me. Really? Yeah, sure. Aw, you two are so cute. I'm jealous. I want a boyfriend like Masato-san. You know, in a wheelchair. I, I'm so, sorry, that's not the... Hmm, not the hey, thing to say. Show her yours first. What? Uh, sure. In front of the other girls? You want to unzip? Used to this kind of thing, though, so. Got you some Tic Tacs. Just do it! <laughs> Sorry, I know it's not much. I'm curious what this is because I've forgotten. What is that? Uh, I had a lot of trouble figuring out what to get you. And you're the young master's woman. I, I mean, his girlfriend. So that's even harder. What is but it, this though? This was the most expensive one they had. I promise. <laughs> well, she's not very helpful, is she? <laughs> My mother has the exact same one. <laughs> huh? That, well, hey, well, what is on. it? And why is that bad? The name Ichiban means the best. But I guess there's no accounting for taste. Doesn't it mean number one? Well, whatever. We should start calling him Ichiban. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the way he struts around the place just because he can walk. I mean... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what are you going to do? Here. I have money. That makes me a good person. That looks expensive. Looks more expensive than the mama's napkin that apparently Ichiban got her. Whoa. No way. Uh, is this real? No, it's illusory. That's my girl. I knew you'd appreciate its worth. I know you're all about the how, financial how value of objects. It? About the price of a condo. A high end one. Not just some dump, of course. Well, <laughs> couldn't you have got me a condo? Thank you. I don't know how I could ever repay you. I think you know. <laughs> don't worry about it. I guess my next gift will have to be an actual condominium. For us. Sure, make you my life plans for me. No problem. For a moment? <laughs> really? Can't you read a room, kid? Ichi, don't start another fight. It's the lady's birthday. Let her go. She's just in high demand. Wait, now you're letting her leave? Right. You were gonna, like, fight the fucking com police commissioner? Oh, well. She looks thrilled by her gift, doesn't she? Excuse me. I'll be right back. I just need to go to a deuce. Okay. Take your <laughs> Sorry. <time. laughs> I have the right maturity level for a game that features uh, animal so fuck nice. videos. I want a boyfriend like oh. him who will buy me condo-priced watches. Drink. You have a captive audience for all your bullshit stories. But I don't want to just talk. Let's do something more intimate. Who well, has the bullshit stories? We'd have to ask you, Mino. Oh, she'd kill us for sure. 
But I'd still enjoy being your girl while I could. It's just really kind of oily. This whole this whole game has been a little oily so far. Please tell me we're not following the, what's her name into the ladies' room. Okay, we're following what's his name. That's one too many. Some wingman I am. Well, you're sober enough to realize wait. it's a problem. Please wait. Horno itchy son. I don't even want to breathe the same air as that punk. Who the hell is his he? name's Dong Zhuo. Can you kill him for me? He's well, he's the son of a yakuza. Welcome to the exposition stall. Stand the man. Well, of course, to you, he's not a man. He's a big walking wallet. Stop! Ooh. This is serious. It's starting to freak me out how much he spends and drinks. Just now, he gave me something super expensive and said next time it'll be a condo. As a hostess, I have no ability to deal with a man whose feelings for me have gotten out of, uh, you know, the scope of where I want them to be. It's just not something I ever occurred to me might happen. So... You could turn around and sell his trinkets the next day. And he'll and if he probably found kill out, her. What do you think he'd do to me? Yeah. <laughs> Are you talking about violence? <laughs> At the first hint of that, I'll throw the bastard behind bars. You'll be dead, of course. Yes, I know you would. And you're right. I should sell it tomorrow. Is this, is this like her dad? <laughs> I didn't think there were still idiots walking around believing money can buy them love. Well... All that matters is you're not one of them. Now get back I guess out not there. his girlfriend Squeeze or daughter. <laughs> okay. See you later. Yeah, so... Tough spot for Ichiban to be in. At least we've got something of a story developing now. It's no longer about <sighs> plunder uh, retrieval. <sighs> so... They go to some efforts to make the young master not that likable. I actually think he's kind of fun, but he's obviously a bit of an idiot, and you have to feel bad for the guy. If he's in a wheelchair, he's fallen in love with a hostess. Now Ichiban knows that she's just milking him, which should have been what? apparent anyway. But Young master, how long have you been there? Need help getting back in your chair? Because we don't know how long those drugs are supposed to last. Um... Young master? Did you hear that conversation too? Because if so... So... Did you finish your business? Yeah, I took a couple of flushes, but it's done. I'm heading back. Use this to pay the bill. But don't you need help getting back? If there's anything left, might as well use it to wipe your ass. Yeah, maybe he's not meant to be likable. I get. Well, pick up the money. I guess he heard that too. I thought we would have this like extended thing of Ichiban being uncomfortable, knowing that she's using him, not being able to tell him because what the hell would you know? That would just be a bad scene. But looks like um, maybe he already heard because he doesn't seem to be in a particularly good spirit. Poor young master. I'm gonna get really confused by all these Japanese character names, though. Haniki, are you done babysitting the young master? Yeah. It's Lemon Kind and Haniki. Let's meet up at Theater Square and walk to the office. Sounds good. Aww. It's a very sad episode of Let's Play Yakuza Like a Dragon. Well. This is actually one of the first points in the game where we could grind for levels because there is an enemy on the map. Let's just showcase what that's about. So you have little red uh, guys like that, arrows moving around. If you feel like it, you can go hunt them down, and they represent opportunities for combat. So he's marked right there. He's a burnout bully, menacing man. Took him out with a base, uh, baseball, with a uh, bicycle. We got like 80 cents and some tuna on a giri. And this, I like honestly, it, I know it sounds silly, but I was uh, had a Saturday night listening to like a stream or something in the background. 
adult beverage in hand, spend a little time grinding for experience before realizing it's way too early in the game to be trying to do that. So, we're in the, like, map has not magically changed. We're still not going to be able to buy a plunger. So let's go continue the story. I think I just took a wrong turn. Ah, this will get us there eventually. Will it? Maybe not. Can we go through the back door to the store? No, but that is the back door of the store. Red Zone Cuba. Jungle Boy Internet Cafe. Popo. Red Zone DVDs. We definitely had a cinema scene set around here. Yeah, but I, I want to go into some of these businesses, like a uh, lounge bar Manhattan, eh? Apparently there's like nothing but bars in the middle of the city. Cosmic Tasty. Maybe we could try eating some food. Welcome. <laughs> what is the recommendation? 900 yen. Fully restores HP and max P. Ordering the recommendation will fully cover. By ordering certain combinations of dishes in the menu, you can create combo meals. Yeah, maybe we should just forget it. I guess this is the kind of thing we'll have to figure out eventually if we want to get all the premium bonuses. Lethal may or may not have insider info on what to order. I just kind of don't know. But, um... We're at the point now where we could advance the story, but we're almost at the end of a video. Feels like maybe we should just call it a video. And uh, meet up with our friend with the goofy blonde haircut with the mullet thing going on. And the uh, dragon pajamas. Meet up with him next time. We finally feel like we got a little bit of story going, though. I mean, we were running around back and forth doing, like, goofy errands, listening to z goofy music. Being asked to retrieve plungers. But uh, with this this plot development, the chief of the Tokyo police is somehow involved with the young master's girlfriend, who is a hostess. This is this is not a secret. He knows she's a hostess, but he seems to think that even though she's a hostess, they're really in love, and it's pretty apparent she's just using him. Does he know? We don't know. We know. It's sad. Where is this going to go as far as a turn-based action RPG? Only way to find out is to tune in next time. Or watch somebody else's Let's Play, but I hope you don't do that. <laughs> watch mine, please. Please, don't make me sad like the young master. I'll throw money at the floor and tell you to wipe your ass. I won't do that. But um, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.